Hey everybody, this is Tim from Cornet Collections. This is my daughter, Bella. Uh, she's gonna be helping me open the pack of Star Wars today. That's what we're doing. And uh, it is gonna be a pack of Star Wars Galaxy um, Tops 2018 trading cards. So uh, hopefully we'll get some parallels and some other good stuff. Uh, so say hey, Bella. Hi. <laughs> All right, so. All right, so this is the uh, Tops Galaxy. Uh, let me get some extra light in here. Hopefully that might help out a little bit. Uh, I guess not. Okay, so this is the Tops Galaxy 2018, Tops Star Wars Galaxy 2018. 61 total cards inside. There's going to be 10 packs with one commemorative uh, patch. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we'll save the patch for last and go ahead and get started. Let me readjust. All right, so I'm gonna let my daughter, Bella, go ahead and open up the very first pack. So here we go. Open up on the, open up on the. Okay. You go. All right, so I had to help her a little bit. So this is it. Right. So what do we get? Yeah. All right, so that's actually the, what looks like the cover art for the box, so that's pretty cool. That's uh, Kylo Ren, Luke Skywalker, and Rey. So very nice, very nice. Ooh, this is very nice as well. I don't know. Uh, I know that's Kylo Ren. This is a Legends card. That's what this is called. Uh, the artist is Mick and Matt Gleb, but that's kind of nice. It kind of has a refractor style. What's I next? This one. this one is called Above the Sarlacc. Above the Sarlacc. So, in Return of the Jedi, Sarlacc Pit. Um, pretty cool. Has... Uh, Lando falling in with uh, Boba Fett shooting at Luke Skywalker, so it's pretty cool. What's next? Uh, uh, Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Fearsome Fett. Fearsome Fett. Fearsome Fett. So that looks pretty cool right there. Mm -hmm. I love Boba Fett's costume. This one is Captain and Co-Pilot. All right. So uh, Chewbacca and Han. I love the artwork on these. I love them. And this one is the Lord of the Sith. Lord of the Sith. So that's Palpatine using his um, using his uh, dark force electricity. All right. Now let's see what we have going on here. All right, so nice Darth Vader right here. Uh, Dueling Darth. Dueling Darth looks pretty nice. Let's see. I'll tell you what. Ahsoka Tana. I love that card. Uh, artist. The art is by Dave Filoni, the creator of Ahsoka Tana. All right, so that's pretty cool. I really like that. Here's a Jen Urso. I love that. The art is by Todd Aaron Smith. And here's my Jen Urso toy right here. So that's pretty cool. I like this. Uh, three different versions of Luke Skywalker. And it's by a gentleman that I'm actually friends with on Facebook. Uh, it's Jerry Garcia. This is actually his information right here. Um, he loves baseball, loves Star Wars. He's been commissioned by Topps to do both baseball and Star Wars. So that's pretty cool right there. I might try to send that off, get him to sign that for me. All right, here is uh, Palpatine. 
uh, from Caleb King, so pretty good artwork there, and Poe Dameron from Paul Andrew. So those look really nice. All right. All right, so that's just a uh, X-Wing right there. Very nice. Uh, just an archive card. Oh, she's in the this is, yeah, she's in the cartoon. This is Hera, Hera Sandula. So this is the Ghost Crew uh, wanted poster. I really like that. Me too. I want that one. So, you want that one? Okay. All right, here's... Kylo Ren and Luke Skywalker and okay. and Ray's right in the middle of the two, showing the dark, the light, and the balance in between. I love that. Between light and darkness. There we go. Uh, art by Alex Ninguez, or I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, we have uh, the Empire Strikes Back scene when uh, Luke gets shot down. And uh, they are fighting on Hoth. I like that. Oops, sorry. Uh, Ingrid Hardy is the artist. Battle on Hoth. So that's pretty cool right there. Here is Princess, Amadam, Princess Amadala. Um, she is actually Senator. Must have been her funeral right there. A Lily Among Thorns. So the artist is Stephanie... Ro Roselles. Roselles. Roselles, I guess that's how you pronounce it. So that's beautiful artwork right there. And then it, this looks like probably Captain Rex uh, from the Clone Wars. Yep, Captain Rex survives the battlefield. And that's from... Anil Sharma. So um, a little little thing that... A little rumor that's been going around is uh, Captain Rex is, has survived and was in the uh, Return of the Jedi, and he was actually the old man in Return of the Jedi on uh, Endor. So if you go back to the movie, look at it, and see an old man in the, the forest moon of Endor, that's supposedly Captain Rex. So that's pretty cool right there. Maybe. Maybe. I think it's cool if it is him. It's cool if it's mm hmm All right. So here's and Ray on the planet of Jakku just before all the fun starts in uh, Force Awakens. So Ray dines alone. Uh, the art is by Eric Mayo. Yeah. Uh, another Ahsoka Tana. I really do love these. Um, it's a Dave, Fion uh, Dave Filoni uh, Journey of Ahsoka. I really love the artwork that he had. Again, it's his own creation. So he, uh, he designed her, he created her, and he pushed to keep her. Uh, here's a Kylo Ren. Uh, so I love that over, over the body shot very similar to a lot of the uh a lot of the posters that went out there it's called dark warrior kylo ren and the artist is trent westbrook here's padme amidala again uh, this is on the planet of naboo by the lake artist by angelina ben benedit I'm sorry, I'm butchering ben her name. Ben Teddy. Ben Teddy. All right, here's a stormtrooper, very similar to. Uh, it looks like in the scene it's from A New Hope, the very first one. Just a stormtrooper standing over a rebel, and that's aftermath of Tantive Four. Aftermath of Tantive Four, and of course, the deity. Goldenrod C-3PO on the Ewok um, hut village uh, when he had just when he was trying to convince them to to untie his friends 
uh, he's floating around thanks to Luke. So the golden deity. All right. Yeah, little bears. And it was originally supposed to be Ewa, uh, excuse me, two Wookiees, a plant, the planet where the Wookiees live, Kashish, but um, they kind of had to trim down the budget. So that's why um, they ended up being Ewoks instead. It's harder to find a whole bunch of seven foot people as opposed to a whole bunch of kids and um, little people. All right, so this is from Rogue One. We have Saul Guerrero, Captain Cassian Endor, which is right over here, and Jen Urso. So very nice. You should put that in the middle. I, I probably will because it's both of them. Uh, art is by Brian Kong, and it says Operation Fracture. So let me put that right in the middle there for you. All right, this looks like another poster. Strike the for strike the time force action is now. Yeah, that's it. All right. So this is propaganda poster. It was created by Russell Walks. So very nice. We have Anakin Skywalker getting his suit after being burned and cut in pieces. Um it is Darth Vader. Uh, oh. He's turning into Darth Vader. See, it says oh. Birth of Darth Vader. All right, so we have another Boba Fett. Uh, again, I love Boba Fett. I loved his, um, I loved his costume. Hated the fact he died like that. Uh, Mandalorian Hunter. Can't wait for the new Mandalorian series. I'm going to get Disney Plus uh, just so I can watch that. Here's Slave One, Boba Fett's ship. So very nice, very nice. Departing Bespin. That was in Empire Strikes Back. And then, of course, here's Kylo Ren. A very nice drawing artwork. Uh, yeah. The First Order's Enforcer. So that's from Joe Caroni. All right, I have five more packs to go. Oh, I love this. This looks like sketch art from, uh, it's sketch art of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Very nice. Um, the Jedi Master and the artist is Kevin Cleveland. So that's beautiful. I wouldn't mind having a poster like that. Okay, another Dave, uh, Dave Filoni, I keep messing up his name, um, Journey of Ahsoka, and that looks like, actually it looks like um, Darth Vader standing in silhouette, very nice, and the Bounty Hunters, um, unfortunately I can't remember all their names, Boba Fett, Bosk, Dengar, I believe that's Forlom, IG-88, and then I can't remember his name. I know it starts with a Z, and of course, Jabba the Hutt. <clears throat> so, uh, in, serve, in service of Jabba the Hutt, artist by, art by Frank Kadar. So, very nice. All right, Two Tubes. That was his nickname uh, in Rogue One. Very nice artwork there as well. From Doug Wheatley, the Two Tubes Brothers of Jeddah. Oh, I love this. This is uh, in memory of yeah. Carrie Fisher. So it's all the aspects of Leia minus the slave outfit. But that's beautifully done. Uh, the Skywalker Saga, Leia, Carlos Cab Cab Bellero, I believe is how you pronounce it. But that's very beautiful. Right there. All right, and of course, everybody's favorite doofus, Jar Jar Binks, uh, which in, I believe it's called Aftermath, the book Aftermath, he is back on Naboo, and he is now a street um, jester. Uh, everybody makes fun of him. Everybody picks on him. It's really sad. Uh, Jar Jar Binks and 
Oto Gunga. All right, so the art is by Matt. Maldonado, or I believe this might be how you pronounce it. I don't know. All right. Another one. Oh, another Jen Arso, very nicely drawn. A little hand drawn, looks like pencil artwork. And that's Rebel Jen Arso by Andrew Fry. Beautifully done. I like that. There's another wanted poster. This one is Zeb, Zeb Aurelius. All right, so I like that. I really do like those wanted posters. Rebels was a very good cartoon. I can't really get into the the new one that's out, Resistance. I believe it's what it's called. I just can't get into it. So, but um, Rebels, I really liked. Here's a Ray, the Scavenger. I like that artwork from Andrew Fry again. Ray the Scavenger. Yep. You got exactly that. <laughs> Darth Vader with some stormtroopers uh, by Brian Snuffer. So very nice artwork right there. Another Darth Vader. Uh, Fury comes to Bes to Bespin. Excuse me. And then everybody's favorite hunk of junk in the galaxy, the Millennial Falcon. Had that upside down being chased by some TIE fighters. So telling the told by the TIE, excuse me. Alright. Oh, here we go. So that is Darth Maul after he got cut in half and he had his robot legs put on. Alright, and Mother Townsend, Tazen, I believe is how it's called. Uh, Darth Maul Reborn from Mark Mangum. Mark Mangum is the artist. Another Ahsoka Tana, Journey of Ahsoka Tana uh, by Dave Fione, Filoni. There's 10 of those and I've got four right now. So that's really nice. All right, so here's the band that was playing in in um, Jabba's Palace. I'm not even going to try to guess their names or anything. The Max Rebo band, and I believe that's Max Max Rebo right there. So very nice. All right, let's see. We have uh, Mace Windu, uh, some Wookies. Looks like uh, Sidious and probably Anakin right there. The end of the Jedi. Another Darth Vader. I have this one already. So Dueling Darth and TIE Fighter. So I have some duplicates right there. Oh, father, son, and daughter. So Darth, huh? Okay, go ahead and name him. Their name is um, Darth Vader, mm -hmm. Luke, mm -hmm. and Leia. Very good. Nice black and white picture. Uh, from Mike James Horgan, A Family Affair. All right, next up we have, it looks like a uh, poster. We need you to resist tyranny. That's Rose right there and there. Uh, we need you. It's a propaganda poster from Russell Walks. Russell Walks. Here's that uh, Ray again. Ray dining alone. Here's that Obi-Wan one more time. All right, some duplicates there. There's that Jen Erso and Maul. I, I figured I was going to get into uh, duplicates at this point. Last card before the before the commemorative patch, we have Poe. Ah, I have two Poes, one blue and one silver. So that's pretty cool. That must be a variant. 
both drawn by Randy Marta Martinez. I have another Ahsoka that's very nice. That's five out of ten. So by Dave Filoni. All right. So here's the main cast of Force Awakens, right there, by Kyle Babbitt. Okay. Here's some the visit on Octu. Basically, it's uh, Luke, Ray, Chewbacca. R2-D2, and of course, the, the lovable Porgs. Student Becomes Teacher from Randy Martinez. And then this beautiful drawing of Princess Leia. Princess Prepared. So now for the patch. All right, so I just opened up the patch. This is a beautiful Moth Tarkin, Grand Moth Tarkin. It's numbered 112 out of 150. Very nice. Uh, it's a patch card. Uh, it's kind of indented. It's beautiful. So that does it. Um, may the force be with you. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see y'all later. All right. So I just want to thank everybody for watching my video. Please uh, like, subscribe, comment down at the bottom. Uh, tell me what you might want to see me open next. Uh, I like Star Wars, but I'm willing if I can find them. Star Trek and the uh, Marvel cards, things like that. Uh, of course, I also have baseball cards that I open up as well. So just uh, leave me some feedback and thank y'all again. See y'all later. <laughs>